I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. You know, all of us have to learn through experience. And certainly when we were kids, that's how we understood the world around us, is that we tried things out and dealt with the consequences. And that's certainly true with, you know, sticking your tongue to a, uh, a frozen flagpole, for example, <laughs> or taking a knife and sticking it in the light socket. <laughs> there were consequences, and we learned from those kinds of things. But the same is true about matches and, and fire. You know, I don't know what it is about fire that is so fascinating to kids, but many of us were fire bugs when we were younger. You know, because we didn't know the rules. We didn't understand how dangerous fire can be. But I was, I was going to share your story about why you shouldn't be playing with matches. So Otho and his two brothers, they had this thing about matches. Because, you know, Mom would just put us outside. We'd stay outside for hours at a time out there on the farm. And we were unsupervised. So we'd steal matches from time to time, and we'd go outside, and we'd just fire them up, throw them out there on the dry grass in the field, start a little fire. Well, Mom ran out there one day, and we started a fire, and, and of course my middle brother and I, we just pointed to little brother and said, he did it. Well, he got the whooping. He never, he never forgave us for that. <laughs> But there was another occasion where we were in the barn. We went up to the, in the barn loft, and we stacked bales of hay up to make a little, a little room. You know, we, bales of hay were on all the sides and across the top, and you had one little entrance way. And so we crowded in there, and you know that was kind of cool because we, we it was dark and we felt protected, th and thought you know that that was something really special. Well. A Wotho goes and gets a little can of gas out of Dad's shop. Actually, I think it was a fruit jar. Yeah, he put it in a fruit jar. And took the matches, you know. Here, So all three brothers sitting around in this little uh, house made out of hay bales up in the loft of the barn. And so we light the uh, gasoline. And we're just sitting around watching it and talking and... Somehow or another, someone accidentally knocked that jar over, and we started a fire. Now, there's hay down here on the floor, and the hay catches on fire. Okay, well, so, whoo! Down we, we went. We scuttled down that uh, ladder and ran to the house, and we, we were grabbing plastic buckets and filling it with water from the hydrant, running back to the barn, and making several trips. The fire wasn't really big yet, but you know, it, 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 was, it was going. And we kept running up there and splashing water around. At some point in time, mom looked out the window and saw her three sons running back and forth to the barn. Well, she came out to see what was going on. And she, when she realized that the barn was, uh, was on fire, whoo, Lord, she kicked into gear too. She helped us put that fire out. Now, you know, we all got our butts whipped over that, but she did not tell our daddy because she knew that he would have given us a butt whooping that we would never, ever forget. I mean, she feared for our lives. And you know what? We had scorched the, the entire loft up there. The floor was scorched, and thankfully, Daddy didn't go out there and go up into the loft very frequently. In fact, it was years later before he actually got up there in that loft, and he was wondering what had happened up there because it burns, you know, this scorched floor. Oh, my goodness. Well, he came back with lots of questions about that, and we had to fess up. But I, uh, but the moral of the story is don't, don't play with matches. Teach your kids safety rules uh, so that they're not doing silly things like Otho and his brothers did. Well, y'all be good. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire.
Bye. <laughs>